Hi, everyone. It is February 21, 2021. The first thing that I want to say, Texans, if you have your utility bills paid uh, automatically, you know, you've signed up for online payment, disable, disable your auto pay. Disable it. You have no clue what your electric bill is going to be. And now, apparently, they are uh, just taking thousands of Texans and involuntarily switching them to different companies because companies are failing. Oh, boy, Texas is a mess. This is an update on what is taking place. Uh, These disasters, they don't immediately stop once you know, the temperature raises a bit or, you know, the floods begin to recede or the fires are out. These, unfortunately, these disasters go on and on and they take out a lot of people. Thousands, thousands, thousands of homes and businesses in Texas have experienced burst pipes. Their homes flooded. Uh, and how many people can recover at this point? So I'll play a few minutes of this. There's a lot of uncertainty ahead for all energy consumers in Texas. We've already seen huge bills for people on those variable rate plans because their bills fluctuate based on the cost of wholesale electricity, which just skyrocketed this week. Now we know some power companies are in a world of hurt, too. David Schechter is live in the WFAA newsroom for us tonight. So, David, tell us what this means for us, the people who pay the bills, the consumers. Well, uh, it means thousands of Texans uh, will involuntarily be switched to totally different power companies where they could potentially face some higher rates. That's because this mess is forcing some retail power companies out of business. When the cost of electricity spikes, some retail electricity companies could not afford the prices and are basically going out of business because of that. And in this situation, the state switches customers from those insolvent companies over to other companies. That's expected to be many thousands of Texans. Usually when this kind of switching happens, Customers automatically get hit with some higher bills, but to avoid that, the Texas Public Utilities Commission has passed an emergency resolution to help ease that transition. Specifically, it has authorized TXU to absorb those stranded customers and bring them over at competitive electricity rates instead of emergency rates. This evening, I spoke with Professor Ed Hers, who teaches energy policy at the University of Houston. The, the travesty of this is the Public Utility Commission uh, is supposed to make sure that, that these firms are qualified to handle uh, your money. And in many uh, instances over the years, uh, we find several that don't. And so the people, the customers are out of luck. What should... And the customer is out of luck. That is increasing. Oh, my God. It's skyrocketing. No matter what it is that we do as customers, whether it's buying a product that, you know, is, well, you begin to use it and then it falls apart Uh, within a week. uh, This online shopping, my God, that is really causing for a lot of people a real headache. Um... And, you know, look, the reason why I'm posting this video is to say to all of you, be prepared. Get yourself as prepared as you can be for anything, for a flood, for uh, this kind of, you know, experience that they're experiencing in Texas, but they're not just experiencing in Texas. This is happening in Kansas, in Missouri, in Oregon. Um, the power outages, the winter storms, it's across the board, you know, from uh, up all the way down Minnesota. It, well, it's happening in Canada as well. They can do 
what they want to do instantly. Your life can change instantly. When man is controlling weather, they can bring whatever kind of weather they want to your area. A tornado, where tornadoes were, you know, just never seen before. They can bring extreme arctic blasts to places like Texas. And suddenly your pipes burst. And suddenly you're hearing such confusing information like your government officials who are telling you to not, not uh, run the water, you know, a steady stream or a drip so your pipes don't freeze because they were looking at water shortages, which is what Texas is now facing. They tell you don't turn on the water. Pipes burst. Others, you know, the experts, that's what I've been listening to. It's been amazing to listen to the contradictory uh, advice that they give people, well, in this disaster and in all of them. Um, it's, the lesson we're learning, you can only count on yourself. Do not count on people who are making these decisions. Don't think that they're smart, that they actually make decisions in your best interest. And don't be naive to think that all of this is just, you know, some accident or um, a, a negligence. It's deliberate. They're bringing you down fast. Fast. 58 people died in Texas alone. That's not including all of the animals, which is another video that I will be posting. You know, I got this uh, email from a subscriber in North Texas, up, you know, Dallas, Fort Worth, about an hour away from, an hour west away from Dallas. Walmart, not one bottle of water. Bread shelves, mostly empty. Looked like a few loaves left, but there was such a large crowd on the aisle and everyone grabbing what they could. I didn't even try. No water shortage of boil water orders in this immediate area. Not for now. It could happen. Um, but the first I heard, it was 17 million Texans under a boil water order. Now I heard today it's 14 million Water is so scarce in Texas right now. Get a water filter if you can afford it. Uh, stock up on water. A whole lot of people don't have money now, and I feel for you because I know what that feels like. But whatever it is that you can do to sh ensure that you don't go through this craziness and that you don't have to deal with the mobs trying to stock up on their losses during an outage, their spoiled food that they have to throw out. If you can avoid that, avoid it. Because a whole lot of stuff happens when you're in a mob of stressed people. A lot of anger, lawsuits filed against ERCOT. You're not going to know what the reasons for uh, the, the power outages in Texas. You just won't know. You're not going to get an answer. You got Bill Gates saying that everybody who's saying that the uh, solar and wind turbines failed, he comes in and says, oh, no, that's not true. Well, He's a lying, despicable, subhuman thing that people actually listen to. Then government officials are saying that it is the wind turbines. Experts say it is the wind, it is the solar. Um, and, you know, I just came across this article. I couldn't... Oh, boy. You had power plants that literally sat... Thanks. Idle. Austin's biomass... Austin Energy's biomass power plant in East Texas, which the city purchased in 2019 for $460 million, sat idle, produced no power during one of the worst winter energy crises. According to ERCOT, 
oh, well, we couldn't get that up running in a safe way. Who the hell knows? But they made this plan that this plant would only operate in the summer months. They knew this was coming. What, they had, what, uh, about a week's notice that this Arctic blast was coming? And they didn't get that plant up ready if they needed it? You don't have people in positions of power over you that make good decisions. And a whole lot of people are really stupid and make shitty decisions. So that's why you really need to count on yourself. And I so wish we had strong communities today because the community could work together to organize, to survive these events. But instead, we allowed ourselves to be socially engineered to a point where most people are isolated. And yeah, there's an awful lot of people who, during crisis, it activates their moral core and they get out there and they help, you know, whoever is in need. But we don't have enough of them. That's the problem. Reactivating the biomass plant was considered but determined to be unfeasible due to the time needed to return it to service. To get it out of mothball state? Okay. Uh, look, what else do I have? Over 14 million Texans still without safe water. Um, and, oh, that's a video I was asked to watch. But this is not good, guys. It's so friggin' not good. And more people are going to die. That's, more people are going to die. Yeah, here. Some people have already received their electric bills for this past week's service. Some got charged 1000 per day for the week. For the week. I guess those were the people that didn't have their power turned off. Reports of full month bills totaling 9000 13000 the highest 17000 I can't even think what my bill is going to be. They were doing the continual power on, power off cycles, which may have pulled even more electricity during the on times. I'm telling you now, turn off your auto pay and don't let these utility companies just take your money because you have this online thing that, oh, well, it's great because I don't have to get to think about my utility bill or whatever. Well, you want to think about it now. You really want to think about it now. Um, I'm going to post another video right after this. I hope to be posting a lot of videos today because I've been sitting on information that, you know, it's just, oh, God, I get overwhelmed with, with how bad things really are and how quickly these agendas are being implemented now. We truly are on that train with no brakes, and we are going downhill. We're going downhill. So many people in Texas right now are lining up for water. They need water. They don't have water. Okay. You've got to do your best to prep as much as possible. Get as much water as you can. You know, stock it away. Get as much food as you can. Food that you can eat that you don't have to cook. And be really thoughtful about that because you don't want to be eating crap during your power outages because that's only going to drain you. You want to be eating foods that are really going to sustain your energy. All right, the next video is going to be on what, on what, just to show you what's going on in Texas, in Oregon. I am so sorry to all of you who have to experience this. It's, it's coming to all of us, though. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Ciao, guys.